It is a gray overcast, and now we're getting a drizzle of rain falling here at Scott Field as Mississippi State and Arkansas will play on this cold. It's been decided by more than 10 points. High short kickoff and into the sidelines and out of bounds. And that will take the ball out to the 35 yard. Rolling back under pressure, getting outside as Madkin may run. Going to tuck it and try to get away, but Garner's going to pull him down and will knock him down behind the line of scrimmage for Westerfield off the hash mark. Now the kick is on the way, and it looks as if it is going to be good, and it is. He's averaging 44 yards a kick this year. He's had 14 of over 50 yards, and he wow. drilled that one. Huntington back at about the 11-yard line. And he is going to be tackled at the 10 as he retreated a great open field tackle. The tailback, the tailback is Walker. And now Madkin is being chased and knocked down from behind. Good effort by the Arkansas. He's one of the Bulldogs' dog safety. Clark, quick drop, throws it out. Pass intercepted by Birdstar. And he's looking for a block. He returns it to the 20. He's got a nice blocking crew in front as he took it into the end zone. Birdsong picked it off. Sean Birdsong with the touchdown. That's a good observation, Jim. Back to pass. They're protecting Clark. He's got time. Throws it in the middle. Pass is complete. And the receiver takes it inside the 35 and down to the 32. Poitras in motion. Back to pass. Hit and drop. Clark was dropped as the Bulldogs came sailing through. So far this afternoon. Out of the shotgun. Pressure, Madkin throws it back, pass is complete, but uh, Arkansas doing a great job of covering as the Bulldogs tried to set well. up. And Walker found the hole and fumbled the football, and Arkansas picks it up. Running to the 40, to the 50, and finally out of bounds, it was Griffith who was able to make Orlando Green who picked up that loose football. Walker had a first. This will be a 38-yarder. And he got it away, and he is down the middle, and did he get it there? Yes, it's good. He just got it in there for three points. Arkansas is on the board, and we have a touchdown. And a couple of big penalty flags as well. A pitch to Miller, and they are going to do a great job of just covering him all. Now they pitch it back again to Miller, and he is going to be tackled in the backfield. Boy, great penetration by Carl working with a pair of tight ends. Hampton back throws to the fullback and Daly makes the catch and they'll get the first down. They got it to Daly. Daly in motion. Hampton rolls back to pass. Gets pressure, lobs it out. Pass is intercepted. And the Bulldogs send it off and running down the sideline but out of bounds was Clinton. It was Birdsong with the intercept. And he Walker is the tailback. Play action, throw it in the flat, complete it to Griffith down the sideline and knocked out of bounds. The fullback. Walker gets the carry and he runs into trouble before he got to the line of scrimmage. Just was absolutely nothing there. Left side and two receivers to the top of the screen. Matkin rolls back under pressure and he's going to be sacked. Carver or Caver I should say, Caver coming through. That's a second. The Senzo Miller is the holder. And this one is blocked, blocked, and it is going to be picked up by Green, who will run it out of bounds at about the 25-yard line, maybe the 26, somewhere in that vicinity. Arkansas is in a third down, about 15 to go. Back to pass is Hampton under pressure, throws it upfield, and the pass is caught. And I think it'll be a first down. Caught by Boo Williams. Down, Holmes is the tailback. Now he gets the call and gets a big hole, rambles into the secondary. Josh Morgan knocks him off his feet inside the 30-yard line. Second down play, and uh, Hampton wants to throw it towards the end zone. Battle for it, intercepted in the end zone by Fred Smoot. Second down play. Going to run the draw play. Holmes broke the first tackle, gets to the outside, and ends up out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Holmes again, good hole again in the secondary and finally tackled, but not till he got to the 15-yard line. Second down play, and they draw to Holmes. He broke a tackle. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's inside, and 
It's going to be first and goal for Arkansas. Boy, what a run by Holmes, who has been... Holmes to the goal line, score. Yep, did a good job. A minute two left to go, and Arkansas has scored the Here's touchdown. Interception, of course. No turnovers is what they're looking for. Madkins pass, completed to Miller. Miller gets a little run, stays on his feet, breaks outside, gets a block, looks for daylight down the sideline, and finally knocked out of bounds. Man, is that a big player? I was set to see if this one goes through. It's put down, and it is blocked, and it is loose, and it's still loose, and it's going to finally be recovered, but we've got overtime. Arkansas has blocked a field goal. We've got overtime here at Scott Field. Hampton, Holmes, first down, touchdown. Wow. Bulldogs just have not been able to stop the running game here in the fourth quarter. Watch this one again. Let's see what happens. A couple of Bulldogs have a shot at him. He just gets past the line of scrimmage and into the end zone. Relatively easy touchdown for Brandon Holmes. In the motion. Matkin takes the ball, rolls back to pass, gets some time, tries to escape. A sack and is sacked all the way back at the 37-yard line by Quentin Caver. And that is huge. That'd be the final play of the ball game. Madkin gets some time, throws it in the middle, and a diving catch. And I think he's got the first down. Terrell Grendel with a diving catch of the 14. Madkin to Griffin, who spins and fights and does not get there. And it will be fourth down for Mississippi State, and they have to get it in power formation. The Hogs dig in. And they pitch it back to Walker, and he turns it up, and he does not get in, and Arkansas wins the ball game. Walker couldn't get in, and the Hogs win. Overtime in Starkville. The Razorbacks are successful. They block a field goal by Mississippi State. They could have won it in regulation. They score the touchdown, and they stop Mississippi State on the one-yard line. And that's about it.